Oh, we're live. I'm sorry. That caught me by surprise. <laughs> you counted me in and it still caught me by surprise. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to lag, everyone. Uh, we are about to roll some initiative as four of these snake ladies have approached the party from behind as the dogs bark and lunge into Okay, so my question is when the dogs bark, do the yeah. snake people in the camp look? They do. Or they do. they do indeed. It seems it catches the attention from those in the camp. Um, excellent. Let me get this initiative. I'm going to delete the people that were here before. John, can you tell me why you think that is not the snake we're looking for? Uh, I asked Greg if it matched the Medusa description we got earlier, and he said no. If these are not the snakes you're looking for. Basically, I because we got a description of the Medusa before, right? And I asked if it matched, and I was told no. So I don't think it's the Medusa. All right. What is their weapon speed, Gregory? I do like how you gave us this very nice battle map, and then you had them come from the south to attack us from behind <laughs> off the battle map. Very <laughs> I'm very, I'm very smart. Yeah, I'm very smart when it comes to things like that. I have uh, to drag in my own token. Goddamn, this is <laughs> discount D and D. This count TNT. <laughs> I almost dragged. I almost dragged in Nyx. That would have been fun. Ooh, yeah. Nyx would have changed this battle for sure. <laughs> yep. Oh, whenever, whenever things that's get dicey, I'm just gonna drag in another token. <laughs> All right. Well, Noman, you are the first to respond as the uh, barking rings out across the the yeah. kind of forest here the snake ladies in front of you all kind of arouse to attention and look around what do you do um well in the distraction i would like so i'm presuming that i see all the traps right on the way down to the camp mm -hmm. you said they went on the map so i want to tumble down this bit here into into this tree here uh, you want to tumble down into which tree i'm sorry oh this tree here all right yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. you tumble down into the tree there Okay. Is that 10 feet as well? Do, you, do I need another check? Uh, yes. I, I mean, do you want to tumble silently? Yes. Then yes, please. Ooh. Uh, no. So you tumble down the cliff. You don't take any damage. You're very proficient in, like, bending your body. But you, like, step on some twigs. You make some rocks fall and clatter and clutter down the cliffside. Uh, and the attention of these people are, like, drawn your way. It's very clear they know where you are. Shit. Okay. Uh, I've still got movement, right? Uh, yes. Yes, you do. Uh... I'm going to just run to this tree instead, then I get a bit further away from them. All right, so you do. Uh, excellent. That is your turn. Hugo, uh, you are next to respond here as you see these snake ladies coming up to you from behind. What do you do? A charge. All right. Like charge. I'll attack, I guess, the one on the our far right, this one right here. Okay. Absolutely. Uh, Can we just or point or out that... A lag tour has subbed for eight years in a row. That, that, deserves, a, that deserves a call out. So I got it. Nice long time lag tour. Well done. That, that, is, that is, that is indeed. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, but all right, the thirteen misses these okay. ladies. Gotcha. I had to look it up. I'm sorry. No problem. You would think I'd have the the like stats in the same place where I have the story, but no, I have to go look for it. No, no, I'm as, organized. yeah, I think, I think anybody who's run games can be like, yeah, no, I get that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> awesome. Yeah. You, you charge forward with your swords and slash and they kind of bat aside your blade with their own, uh, knocking it away from you. They're not like disarming you, but knocking the blade aside. Mm -hmm. Excellent. The doggos rush forward as the, as the creatures get up to them. Uh, what do they do? Uh, they bite the snakes. Are they, Excellent. Are the ladies walking single file or are they like fanned out? I think they would be walking something like this formation. Okay. Um, then oh, it'll probably be like two dogs on one, one dog is on another. Roll 20's lagging, but I don't know that we actually need a battle map. That's okay. Yeah, no worries. 
I think the dogs are plus two to hit and then 2d4 damage. We'll see. That's how I remember it. Yep. Uh, uh, the 19, 19 will hit. 10 and 20. Uh, so we get uh, so two separate. 20 yeah, is a like... crit. Uh, the 19 is not. Okay, so the, the one on the right, let's say, takes five. Okay. And the one on the left takes 13. Ooh, ouch. As the dog just grabs a hold of the snake tail and absolutely you see this creature bloodied as it's like ripped into by the dog just like big gashes of of like snake like blood run down its side your dog is just like got all of the guts and stuff in its mouth this creature looks worse for the wear and uh rook is moving very slowly not hastily staying invisible in the heavy brush. I'll maybe go at the end of the round as I like take my time to circle around and find okay. these. Absolutely. Uh, Koibu, you are the next to go. What will you do? Well, I see that wounded snake and I just can't help myself. It's oh, the, yeah. this one over here, right? Uh-huh. I don't know if uh, the dogs are small enough that I can walk through their squares. I don't think it matters. That's fine. Yeah, they're a, a dog in a five foot square, right? Like, yeah, I want to. I've owned dogs. Here. They don't take up five feet unless they're like ridgebacks or something. Yeah, I want to come and strike at, at this snake. I don't know if I have to like pass through them or stay in their squares. I think you pass exactly. through their square. I think two melee creatures in the same square doesn't really work, but passing yeah. through it, I think, is fine. So then I will just walk on over there and take a, a swift slash at the big snake tail. A little eleven. Uh, the 11 is a miss. You slash at her, even in wounded form, but you cannot strike her down. And then I am done with my turn. All right. Uh, Ren, it has come to your action. What do you do? <clears throat> I draw my scimitar. I will mm -hmm. point at the... Oof. Could I, could I foreseeably attack from this square here? I guess I could, you know, attack from over the head square to the... here. You could yeah, hit this, on this one. one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I'm drawing my scimitar. I'm um, looking at the at the snake laid in front of me, and I'm saying, uh, "Where is where's Gwen? We've come for a head. I'm gonna take a slash at okay. the at the snake lady." Absolutely. The twelve is a miss. 12. Yeah, you, you slash at her, uh, and she just kind of nimbly ducks out of the way. Uh, it is the Huntress's turn. Uh, this lady turns, I guess doesn't have to turn. She, like, spins her head around to you uh, and says something along the lines of, you would take us for her followers, and takes out uh, what appears to be some kind of bola uh, that she had strapped to her arm, unraveling it, whirling it over her head, and throws it at your feet. Um, do You may make an attack of opportunity if you would like, as she's making a ranged attack at you. 15? Uh, the 15 will hit, absolutely. I'm just gonna start rolling physical dice so the typing doesn't take forever, sorry. Uh, she will take five damage from the blow, excellent. Uh, she rolls a 15 against your touch AC. I'm assuming that's gonna get you, yeah? Why is it always touch? Yes. Uh, yes. That's bad touch, Greg. Bad the bolo touch. wraps around your legs, cinching tight, uh, and they're straining you by the feet, uh, like taking you off your feet and wrapping you up tightly in it. Uh, this creature here will do much the same thing to, uh, I believe this is Hugo standing next to her. Uh, she unravels this stone bola from around her arm. I believe I would still get shield arm. bonus against that, right? Your shield bonus should work in this situation. Yes, absolutely. Yep. Uh, she, you are allowed an attack of opportunity if you would like. Sure. Uh, she rolls a 19 on the die. I believe that's going to get you no matter what. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, and then I do hit as well. The 17 so. hits. Yes. Uh, she takes four oh. additional points of damage. Yep. Uh, you hit her for... 
I not enough to bloody. No, you didn't hit her. That's right. That's why I don't have damage on her. Perfect. She takes four points of damage, uh, and the bola wraps up around you, uh, restraining your legs and taking you off your feet uh, with her with her attack. Uh, this injured one here uh, sees the dogs uh, and is going to unravel a big net uh, as she gets a, a like over large size net uh, from like around her waist, she unwraps it and hurls it out over the, the two dogs attempting to hit them both with it. Uh, the doggos uh, are struck with a, ooh, with a 13 to hit touch AC. I don't know if that hits the dogs. Uh, I think that will hit. Well, let me double check. But okay. I think they get a tax opportunity. They've got 14 AC dogs. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So they, they throw out a big net attempting to catch up both of your dogs, but uh, the it isn't effective. It just kind of gets under their feet and the dogs get out of it relatively easily. Uh, this one here is going to kind of just move over to get a nice look at Koibu, uh, unwraps a, a bola from her arm and is going to unleash it at your feet as well. Uh, this time with an eight to touch AC. I don't think that's gonna get you. Ew. All right, she slings a bola around your feet, but you easily ducked around it. Uh, Noman, you see these creatures here. Uh, they kind of turn in your direction for a moment, and then they retreat over to the tree uh, where you see them picking up uh, weapons and nets and similar uh, devices as they as begin equipping themselves this turn. Uh, the rest of the Huntresses don't seem to take too much mind to your presence after initially noticing you and continue going about their business. Right. Um, it is the end of the round. Uh, Rook, you've been invisible with your Cloak of Elven Kind. What do you do? Um, it looks like things seem to be handled behind me, so I think I will turn my attention down the hill mm -hmm. and begin unleashing arrows from uh, from my hiding spot. All right, absolutely. Maybe I'll just get one attack in this round. I don't know. I kind of wait. I think this is a I think this is a one attack at the end of the round type of arrow. Yeah, but I should get like plus four to hit due to being absolutely. Yeah, they don't know you're there, at and all. it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Your arrow comes sailing wide, uh, and the creatures turn, and you can tell that they it, notice you after you attack from your spot. I guess with a critical failure, that seems fine. But... Yeah. Well, all right. Okay. Yeah. Everyone, roll into initiative, please. Uh, was it my legs that are bolad, or was it my upper? Bo I can't remember. It is your it's legs fine. that are bolad. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. There we are. Excellent. Um, Hugo and Doggos, you're going there first. What do you do? I'm gonna try and chop the the rope holding the bullets together around my legs. I've got my sword at the ready. I'm just gonna try and saw right through it or chop. I don't know how far apart my legs were. I guess they were probably not together because I was in a fighting stance, right? Yeah, the the bull is heavy and like the momentum of it as it curls around you, like snap them together to restrain you. Okay, um, I'm just gonna try and cut open the ropes then. Absolutely. Uh, you spend your round cutting open the ropes. The the ropes are in fact rope and can be easily cut open like that. Uh, okay. It takes your, your action to do it, but you do yep. it. Absolutely. All right, uh, Doggos. I didn't actually roll initiative for them. I was just gonna have them go on my initiative. Oh, okay. Initiative from last round. I can re-roll, I guess, but. Uh, we can we can have them go on your initiative. That's fine. Yeah. They were just in there, so uh, they got in there. Uh, so no mon. All right, I pull out a small piece of fleece, right? And then I'm going to cast Phantasmal Force. And I want to make an illusion of myself darting out of this tree here and making a run over to this tree like that. And then okay. I'm also going to use my ventriloquism skill so that when he's about here, when I would be in view, I want to sort of ventriloquism and say like, hey, come and get me, as I like have the illusion run around the corner. So my attempt right. is to like draw their attention over there. Absolutely. Let me roll a whole bunch of magic immunity here or magic resistance. Oh shit, yeah. Uh, 
Is this how magic resistance two, two, four, works? Five, six, six, yeah, would they get it on an illusion? I don't I don't think you get magic resistance to like disbelieve an illusion. Mm. Do you? Maybe not. But these like ones a, are There is some right. ghost. Okay, sure. <laughs> Quite I well. love it. Make the fast decisions. What do you do? <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I will continue to battle the snakies in front of me. Wait, wait, sorry, sorry. Just before my turn ends, though, because um, mm -hmm. I've still got movement. Do they all look away or not? Are they still looking at where I am? Uh, it seems that these five here all seem to look towards your illusion. Uh, okay. This lady here does not. Which one? Uh, sorry, I didn't see which one. Oh, talking. I'm sorry. Uh, this one here, the big one. Is that one looking at me or is it still looking in the direction? It picked up its its gear and it, it will. Yeah, it knows where you are. So Okay, well, well also... have, I got a, have I got a chance to like dart somewhere else while he's not looking or is this person like fixed on me? Because you said he turned around to pick up his yeah, gear. So. Yeah, they turned around to pick up their gear and stuff. Um, Sure. So, why don't we give you why don't we give you a hide in shadows? You can successfully okay. do that. I, I think you try can and get to that. Yeah, sure. OK. Uh, 50%. Yes. Our, uh, 50%. Because of, of the dagger. Right, with the dagger. Perfect. Yep, yeah. yep, yep, yep. Okay, cool. Yeah. You dart around to this bush. Very good. Ren, what no. do you do? Koibu. Koibu. Oh, I skipped you. I'm sorry. No, you didn't. Koibu, Nick, what do you do? You skipped me. I attack. <laughs> I attack the snake ladies with my sword. Huzzah! Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, the six will not hit the snake lady. Uh, and then I'm going to maybe spend the rest of my turn kind of throwing some looks over my shoulders to see if there's anyone that's noticed this commotion, if there looks like mm -hmm. there's anything approaching. Uh, I know there's that all these like trip wires and shit, so I feel yeah. kind of safe. It doesn't appear to be anyone approaching from over there, no. Okay. Julio. Done. Right. Ren, what do you do? Yes, I'd like to try to disentangle myself using my scimitar. Okay, uh, you cut the ropes? Yes. Absolutely. Do we need to make an attack roll for that? No, right? Nope. Works. Nope, you use, use your, you use your turn to cut the ropes with your, with your <clears throat> sword. I'm not going to make it any more difficult than that. All right, huntresses go. Uh, the huntresses is a little bit upset that you got out of their bolas. Uh, they take out what appears to be just like a heavy stick with a, with a big like cudgel on one end um and they will turn to ren and uh hugo they are attempting to strike you over the head into unconsciousness uh God they damn. will roll as a called shot minus four uh the first will be on ren uh the 10 minus four is six i don't believe that's hitting you in the head no nope. and the next at hugo is a two uh so no they they swing they're trying to smack you in the head to render you unconscious uh they cannot get it done uh this one here uh used a net has been bit by dogs uh, they figure pretty much that uh, they need to take down the more sentient of them first. Also pulls out a cudgel uh, and will swing it at your head, Mr. Koibu. Uh, this Me? time with a, an 11. I don't Not think that's going to get you. Not even close. All right. This one will step up and attempt to finish the job then. Uh, this one doing... This one doing a modified one. The dice not in their favor. Uh, these creatures here um, will begin to move off as a group to go investigate this bush that they believe no man to be in. Um, and this creature up here uh, begins making its way up to this cliff where you used to be looking for you. You hear it speaking and it's like kind of hissing common. It's like slithering up the side of the cliff. Yeah, it like slithers up like it has a climb speed. Um, with it's like snake like body just making its way up. Uh, it looks around in the bush like, come out, little one. What are you doing here? Uh, but it does not find you this turn. Nice. Uh, excellent. I think that is all the huntresses that take actions. Rook, <coughs> you're up here. What do you do? Unloads a couple shots from his bow. I will go ahead and make both of them because I think it's the end of the round. At the big one. 
and I think there's a flank attack on this. Uh, so first, sure thing. Uh, so the first one would be like a 14, and the second would be a 23. Uh, the 15, wait, so the first one's a 15, right? Uh, I think it's just a flank, although a 14. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a 14, the 14 probably... will miss. The 22 will crit. 23, yeah. 23. Uh, so damage. you do 11 damage to this creature. It spins around uh, and uh, looks at you and hisses in kind of anger. And then the dogs will make a couple of attacks. All um, right. One on the badly wounded one. 12 and then two on the other. Uh, so the 12 is a miss, 11 is a miss, a 6 is a miss. Yes, your dogs bite ineffectively at the creatures. Excellent. Uh, end of the round, I believe you get another arrow. I already made both shots. You already made both shots, yeah. perfect. Uh, in that case, I believe we're still in initiative. Or we're going to re-roll initiative. initiative. Yeah. yeah. All righty. <clears throat> One, two, three. Who am I missing? I am missing Koibu and Rook. There we go. Yeah. Okay. okay. Too much brain power. Required. All right. Excellent. Uh, and that brings us to Nomon. You are the first to react. What do you do? It's mirror image. Okay. You cast a mirror image, creating three versions of yourself. Very yep. nice. Very good. There are now more gnomons than we know what to do with hiding in a single tree. Yeah. Uh, all right. It is the huntress's turns. Uh, these huntresses are going to continue. They've used up their attempts to uh, restrain you, so they're just going to try to knock you unconscious. Uh, first attack on Ren is a 10 minus 4 is 6. That's not going to get you. Uh, the next no. attack on Hugo. Hey, there we go. That's a natural 18 on the die, so that's, that's 21, 17. Miss. 17 is a miss. Okay. Yep, 19 it AC. Does, it does not cudgel you over the head. I'm glad I cut out the bow list and didn't take the AC penalty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the third creature will strike at uh, Koibu with a natural one. It does not strike you unconscious. Uh, the second, the most injured one, We'll also go Koibu. Uh, this one is a modified 16. No, nope. I parry no? it to the side with my sword. Ah, okay. It cannot <laughs> smack you in the head to knock you out. Okay, this is disappointing. I can't hit them either. You know, we might as well uh, just have our own These creatures begin making their way slithering along through the bushes. Uh, this one up here. Can it get to you, is my question, Mr. Rook. Because you have hit it. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, it can definitely get to you. It begins sliding its way up, <sighs> making its way Does through it the bushes. Does it trigger its own traps? No, it so. takes careful time to slide around them, knowing exactly where they are, and it comes um, up here. I think the way missile initiative works is I still get an attack at it before it closes. I'll make that sure. initiative, but like without sure. it away. All right, sounds good. Uh, the creature comes up to you. I don't, uh, unless and it's really, really fast, it shouldn't be able to attack. Like unless it has movement. No, or, it, it just it just comes up to you like and it pulls itself up to its full height, revealing big, long fangs and snake-like eyes. Uh, it kind of just stares at you like, why are you here, little ones? We do not hunt your kind. Um, as these huntresses begin making their way over here and begin searching do. around for the gnome. I don't yeah. think they do. Why not? I just don't think they do. I think they go somewhere else. Isn't there a gnomish illusion running around the woods up here? They're looking for the gnome, but he's hitting it over here. I'm pretty There's an illusory they, they go, gnome, they correct? North, right? they, looked, like they looked for him. Back. It wasn't there. <laughs> okay. Um. All right, Hugo, it is your turn. Uh, so rounds are a full minute, right? 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I'll take like a few seconds out of my minute to like to like hold against the the hunters that I'm fighting and shout over. If you don't fight for Gwen, then who do you fight for? Uh, the creature responds, Hush, Hakash, Hakash. Uh, do I recognize this name? I don't believe so. No, Is it okay. I, I couldn't remember if we had if we had brought that one up before. <laughs> it was new to me. Um, uh, she didn't say Pono, so I'm gonna shout out uh, for everyone to hold. Like I'm gonna step back from the uh, the snake lady that I'm fighting, and I'm gonna like contingent on them like them also stopping with the hostilities. I'm gonna try and get everybody to stop fighting for a second here. Okay, Hugo shouts out, hold! Stop fighting! Ren, what do you do? Well, Ren is just about to pull off her, her walnut necklace and hold it to her sword, and then she hears Hugo shout out, I guess. So she leans, I guess she leans forward and she grabs one of the dogs that's attacking by the collar to make it stand down. Right, and it's like kneeling next to next to the dog. Oh, I guess I can grab both of them, maybe even. So I'll try uh, to grab these no. two dogs. One of them? What? Hold Do on, they not no. Have <laughs> <laughs> Do they not have dogs? <laughs> like war dogs engaged in melee combat. You can like make yeah, a roll. And hit. you're or saying I can't at least try. I mean, I can even. Do you have, an, do you have an animal handling check. skill? <laughs> I'm a druid, my babe. Of course I do. I'm born with it. Like if anybody can control You're these dogs with twice it? after, yeah. If anybody can do it after you, it has to be me, right? Like, come on. I also have an animal handling. Should I be making some whistles at these dogs? <laughs> sure. Do you want to take your jealous. turn to 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 do so? Um. No, it's fine. I mean, so we no. can we can just declare it. I'm fine with it. So what Ren is doing, she's trying to like calm down the dogs, but fails miserably because they're well, only I mean, here. If you're rook. taking your action, to calm, no, you can calm the dogs, but not just not just by fiat. So, I'm like, doing exactly what I said. Like, so I'm trying to grab <laughs> them. I fail terribly, and I'm kneeling next to them. We can move on with our turn, <laughs> right? <laughs> All right, you attempt to grab the dogs uh, and don't manage to rip them back from their attacks. Uh, Koibu, you see this going on. What do you do? Well, what's his name? The boss told us to stop. So I want to not finish my attack, but ready my attack. Mm -hmm. And then with my attack readied, I want to step to the side, see if this one will take an attack of opportunity against me. Uh, that's a good question. Yeah. And I, you know, I try to make it look like I am pausing. What's your reaction adjust, uh, Hugo? Uh, I have, oh, I actually have okay, Chris. Let me check. I think it's just normal. I have plus one on my reaction adjust, actually. You have plus one. Perfect. Uh, the creature does not take an attack of opportunity against you, Koibu. Well, then I will stand there and ready an attack if I any continue. Snakes... I continue shouting, like, hold, damn you, and I, I whistle at the dogs to get them to stop. Like, the dogs keep nipping at people, and I'm like, get to stop! <laughs> <laughs> if, if any snakes make any aggressive moves to any of my allies, I will strike the snake adjacent to me. All right. Uh, Rook... You get one shot as the big snake yeah, was approaching you for Rook free. Had his like shot notched earlier in the round. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, it probably already went off before charging. all this happened. Yeah, so I'll roll that, but I don't think I'll make the second one. Okay, uh, the eighteen will hit. Sweet. Uh, for another damage. four. Okay. Yep. Um, and can someone make a? Make a die roll about the dogs. Like I'm not just war dogs are not just going to stop. Doesn't or, appear that yeah, the, the war dogs I, have I, made I, a die roll. Sure. It, it seems even, that they are dogs, still going. Yeah. I didn't take an action. Do you want me to go and take the, yeah, the animal handling check? Make an animal handling right. or something to calm the dogs down. I, I fail. The, I whistle. I try to imitate Rook's whistle at the dogs, and they uh, they do not they do not buy into my whistling. I mean, and these the snake people have been like wielding cudgels at us, right? I mean, they still they're still. They have perfect. cudgels in hand, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I keep shouting for, for everyone to hold, and I say, Rook, calm down your dogs, damn it. Yeah, no, the dogs continue to 
Let's see. Ready? Dog, stop. You're making the baby upset. <laughs> um, 18 should hit the badly wounded one. Uh, the 18 Oops, will hit, a... yes. Oh, darn. That oh, crit God. is. That was the wrong oh, one. That's supposed yeah. to be damage. Yeah, so okay. the 18 hits the badly wounded one. Uh, the 15 will hit. The 10 will miss. The 22, of course, right. is a crit. And the 15 will be to the other one. So it's I think the 22 was a mistake. Yeah. It's to the other one. The 22 is not a good Yeah. Oh, the 22 is not real. Okay, so yeah. it's five to the badly wounded one. And six to the other one. Um, this one is very close to dead. Is it dead? Hold on, math. This one is alive at one. Okay. Uh, this one is now bloodied, I believe. It has been, yes. Okay. Excellent. Your dogs attack, uh, and you do not take your second action. Um, I believe we could re-roll into initiative. The dogs are still fighting, or, or the, are you guys wanting to break initiative here to try to parlay? I'm just gonna try and like... break it to parlay. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm totally baffled by this. Uh, Rook's avoiding eye contact with this thing because it might be might be the Gorgon. Mm -hmm. uh, like... Absolutely. All right. Uh, for this brief moment, there's a there's a cessation in hostilities. The the snake ladies kind of wield cudgels at the dogs as yep. if to ward them off, threatening to yep. like knock them out and in, in if they lunge forward. Uh, yep. This larger snake lady kind of looks at Rook and kind of does that thing where snake heads bob back and forth, and she says, "Why do the little ones hunt in my home?" What brings you here? Why do you speak the name of the hated one? We've come to kill Gwen. And so you attack Hakash? How dare well, you? We attacked, uh, well, we were attacked by more of your kind earlier. Followers of Gwen? <laughs> Not mine. Solely their name, hunting the weak and unclever. You'll have to forgive our confusion then, but I haven't, uh, I haven't had many dealings with the snake people of the forest before. We only hunt those that bring honor, the most powerful and dangerous of prey, not pathetic ones like yourselves. Those who hunt for you solely their honor. I'm, I'm still, I've switched to my swords and I'm killing this thing. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, I think that uh, I think that that initiative is in order if we're gonna fight yeah. him. All right, hold up. Too. If I see Rook switch to his swords, like, cause he had his bow out, right? If I see him trying to draw mm -hmm. swords, I'm gonna run over and tackle him. I'm gonna fucking tackle him. No, don't <laughs> start with this party. No, I think it's the parlay. They're not enemies. Like, come on, I'm tackling Rook. All right. Uh, okay, Huntresses will go at. Hold up, wait, wait, can I not tackle Rook as he draws his weapons? You can you can roll initiative against Rook. I think okay. he's very intent on attacking them. You can do whatever you'd like on your initiative. Yeah, no, that's that's fine. I just wanna Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are Nomon no Nomon's in. Are Ren and Koibu rolling into this particular fight? I'm holding my readied action. I'm waiting for mm -hmm. a snake to attack one of my allies. I've already lost one spell because I, I was waiting, so you know, I'm giving this a chance. Okay. Uh, excellent, then. Uh, so, Nomon, you rolled in with some uh, magic here. Oh, you're the first to react. What do you do? Uh, I, I catch a glimpse of steel glinting in the sunlight as Rook draws his weapons, mm -hmm. and I quickly I think draw... I won initiative, by the way. There's this, I rolled yeah, a six. Rook, Rook goes yeah, first yeah. And a six. Why are you not... He's That's like weird. Again. Why are you at the bottom? It did, it did that to Ren last round, too. Oh, okay. Mm. Uh, Rook, you win initiative. You you flash out your swords. Uh, the 18 will hit, the 7 um, will not. I think I'm avoiding... That might be a... I might make that a 14 if I'm avoiding eye contact or something. Mm. Okay. I, but I, I'll try to get a flame. Mm. Uh, I don't know if you can flank this creature as it's so the I, only I one you're in combat it with. It turns to face Yeah, me. I think I think it's gonna you're you're the only one really threatening it at the moment, so I think it's gonna turn with you as you circle. Yeah. Let's... 
Uh, so if you're what's, avoiding eye contact... What's contacts, the penalty for avoiding eye contact? Is that uh, minus, minus four? Is it? it is minus four, actually, because I did have to look up a Medusa earlier. So yeah. Yeah. Also, well, yes, yeah, so you, you have to close your eyes. So you get the minus four to hit and, uh, and defense. Otherwise, you have a 20% chance to look into their eyes every turn. Mm. Uh, so uh, the 14 will miss. You flash out with your swords, so attempting to slash at this creature. I'm avoiding eye contact. I'm not closing my eyes. I bet I think that's still a minus four. Wait, minus it's still four, a minus, minus four. four. You get the, I think you keep your AC in that case. It's still a minus four, but you you would have a chance to meet its gaze. Okay. Um, but uh, Nomon, uh, you are the next right. to go as the, the swords ring out against this creature, but are unable to find purchase. I pull out a stick of glowing burning incense and weave a pattern in front of me and casting hypnotic pattern at these five over here. Mm-hmm. Fully aware Absolutely. that this is going to give my game away, but hopefully disabling enough of them for it to be worth it. Okay, uh, you cast the hypnotic pattern at these five here. They get saves versus spell and magic resistance checks. Uh, yeah. I will make magic resistance checks first. Uh, no magic resistance and spell saves. Uh, two fails, four fails, four fails. Uh, these nice. four, we'll say, are entranced by your hypnotic pattern. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. The, uh, does the other one, like, make eye contact with me and see? Yeah, that? the other one, you can tell very clearly, has has passed its save and is not enamored by your, your hypnotic pattern. But, I mean, how, how, can they, like, see me now? Because they were still looking. I think so, me. yeah. You cast a spell and, and revealed yeah, yeah. kind of the location of your five gnomes, or four okay, gnomes. Cool. Yeah. Excellent. Um, with that, the Huntresses go. I believe I also go at the same time. And you so go at the same if I, time. If I manage to cessate hostilities here by, by mm. tackling rope to the ground. Uh, Maybe. I think that just makes it worse. <laughs> uh, Depends on who you don't want to be hostile, I guess. Yeah. Are we really going to be I man, I I called hold, and you're you're breaking the hold that I started. So yeah, I'm I'm tackling Rook to the ground. All right, why don't you why don't you make your play? All right, so that's a 23 to hit on Rook. Okay, oh, for the for the attack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Maria! All right, that's exactly a hit. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> I take the eight and I, I tackle. I, I, would, I don't know if we need to make a strength check. I would assume I get some bonuses on account of both like my momentum from the charge and also the heavier weight from all my armor. Good thing we're not using the optional crits or something. Yeah, well, it wouldn't. I think armor penalizes you in an armed combat, actually. But... Uh, I think that what we will do for just a tackle is we will have uh, an opposed strength check just right. for ease of do I uh, Do I get any bonuses for the charge uh, momentum? Did you move 30 armor? feet in a straight line? Uh, let me check, actually. It might have been. It might not be. I can't tell. I don't 15. think it is. No, it's only 20. Yeah, uh, so just a, just a straight up check. Okay. Either way, I guess I wrapped my arms around Rook. Mm-hmm. Uh, 16 for me. I fail. I you fail. So I tackle Rook to the ground, ground and I'm shouting like, Rook, stare, damn you. Didn't you ever learn to hold? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, and with that, Huntresses go. I think with the swords displayed, uh, they turn and begin wielding cudgels again at the party. Well, uh, so Koibu, you though. have an attack prepared for just oh, such yeah. an occasion. Uh, I would say yep. go ahead and use it. Huzzah! It'll take a little while to roll. There we go. Oh, it's nice. Finally, five, points, five of points of damage. I think that's the first that she's taken. Yeah. It is excellent. Uh, and she will rain down a cudgel upon your head. That's not true. A dog bit that one earlier. In the a dog bit that one. I thought the dogs bit this oh. one here. Did they? Were, did you split your dogs differently than I thought? So they split the whole battle. That one. So you've been you've been biting three different ones each time. I I, I can't talk right now. Sort out the damage later. All right, what I will do is take away the last dog damage from this one, which was five, and I will put it on this one. This was one. the very the very first round of combat. The dog split. 
the very first round of combat, this one was back here and the dogs attacked like this. So the very first round of combat, you could have only put two in one, right? <clears throat> if in previous rounds, this has happened. The very, right? the very first round of combat, there was five damage to one and 13 on a crit to the mm -hmm. badly wounded one. To this one, yep. Yeah, so the one that you said was just wounded for the first time took five damage in the first round of combat. Unless Kay. there's another one that took five damage the first round of combat. This one. That's how I put it. Because your dogs are pushed like this, right? All right, good enough. I will take five off of one and put it on this one. Um, and combined, you have bloodied this creature. All right, excellent. Uh, it, it misses you, Koibu. I, I rolled poorly on my d20. Uh, this, this one here will attempt to cudgel a dog. Um, and it rolls a 13 modified to cudgel the dog. Nope, 14 AC. 14 AC. Uh, the third one will attempt to cudgel Ren uh, with a <laughs> with a modified six. No. Nope. Uh, and this one is going to step up and try and knock out a dog uh, with uh, with a modified seven. All right, this whole like aiming for the head thing not going great. <laughs> uh, this one here sees the collapsed forms of both of you, uh, and it is it is not happy. It is going to snake down and take a bite at. I hope it's Hugo. It's going to take a bite at Rook. <laughs> Oof. Uh, this one, yeah, sure. ooh, we finally rolled good on the dice. Uh, this is a 22 to hit, natural 19. That's a oh. hell of a crit. All right, uh, please take for me uh, four plus six damage, uh, or four plus two is six damage, and uh, make me a saving throw versus poison. Uh, I just keep getting poisoned. Right. Oh, that's bad. Somehow I'm not seeing whether or not Ooh, anything success. has gone through roll 20. Did he yes. roll a success? Yes. Okay. Yeah, cool. Then then you that. don't you don't take anything from poison. You just take the six points of bite damage. Uh, excellent. Uh, these huntresses are mocked up. This one here uh, sees all these gnomes. It's pulled out a bow. Uh, it it is not interested in taking prisoners. Uh, Noman, roll me a d4. Come on, big money. Let's go. Yes. All right. It shoots one of one hit. your. One hit, yes. It shoots one of your mirror images <laughs> with an eight. I don't think that's going to do ah, it. Uh, the, the bow shot flies wide. Um, Hugo. No. Why is there two Hugos? This this initiative tracker is having a time. <laughs> roll twenty is roll twenty is just like freaking out on me. I don't understand. Ren, it is your turn. I think. I don't do think do? I've rolled in. I think this you is the end of the round. You didn't roll in. This is the end of the round. I think we're at the end of the round. This is the end of the round. Okay. Everyone uh, roll into initiative, please. My Just... dogs didn't get attacks, so I'm going to go. Uh, ahead. Dogs. Do do dog right. things. All right. Two on the left. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the 14. The 14 uh, will hit these creatures, but not the big one. Uh, the Six, 16. So yep. The one on the far right. So six. And that's the one that took five at the start of the battle, mm -hmm. I think. So it should okay. have taken a total of 11. And then the badly wounded one that's been crit and hit since takes six as well. All right. This one in the middle has died. The dog keeps eating the snake. Yep. Yep. You rip it apart. Uh, oh. Excellent. Before I roll initiative, can you recap the Hugo Rook situation for me? Like, where exactly are they are now? They are in a heap on the ground yeah, uh, in front uh, of Hugo has like right me there. this creature. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Rook is shouting, What the hell, Hugo? Are you bewitched? <laughs> and... Nice. Initiative? Please, yep. please. Yes. Hopefully, the initiative tracker will actually work for me. I don't, roll 20 is killing me right now. <laughs> As it's, doesn't it? I also just might be dying from heat stroke. I don't know. Uh, I need to roll my own initiative, huh, don't I? Cool. Huntresses oh, will go oh. at 10. You know, sometimes roll 20 likes to start music in the middle of a track instead of at the beginning. <laughs> and I still haven't figured out how 
or why? All right, uh, Koibu and Rook, you act simultaneously. I am casting separate on Rook mm-hmm. and um, Hugo to force them apart from each other. All because right. it is um, not good when the monsters are fighting us to have our allies tackling one each other, one another. True. You, yeah, you go. Attempt yeah, to separate them. Like which direction? Which floor. direction do you separate them at? Just Ninety degrees from each other. So one uh, to the left and one to the right. Ninety degrees from me. Yeah. So one goes from to you. my left. One goes to my right. All right. Um, roll. Who goes to the left and who goes to the right when you point? Uh, There's no saving uh, throw. You can just. T- this is OP. You need, you need a DM in here. To, uh, you like, need to. You need to make spell. a saving throw. I just want to know. Like, there I'm, is no I'm, save. I'm f- it, there's a save. We've been having save a save. There's none. When I used it as when I used it as Raycon, there was a save involved. Okay, whatever. Yeah. Um, I, whoever is on the left, I'll, I don't know what their position is in their tackle. Uh, I'm, so uh, I'm asking I'm you, Koibu. You Hugo's point your tackle. finger and you yeah. decide who's yeah. left and right. Yeah, it's. Uh, I will it's put um, Brook over this direction, and I will put Hugo right. in that direction. Uh, it please seems make me OP, some. But we can run with it for now and. Please make me some spell later. saving throws. Okay, so okay, we are get saved. It feels like there should be like a strength check involved or something. For Hugh, I mean Hugo has right. me held. It I do, seems I like... do stay in uh, place. So I'm holding right. on to Rook. Hugo, you stay in place. But Wait, so Rook... here's my question: If I'm grappled to Rook and one of us passes the save and the other fails, what happens? Right, like if you try to separate a sword from someone's hand, do they get a strength check to hold on to it? Do they? Is it? Yeah, a should I make throw? Should I make like an opposed strength roll against something? Maybe his intelligence, maybe? I mean, or do, or do I move and he holds on? That's where I'm I'm very confused about how the spell would work if we have both of us make saves and one passes and one fails. I think that's probably why the saving throw says none on the sheet because that's a <laughs> weird edge case that I just don't want to deal with. Um, you know, why don't we just say we don't get saves and both of us get knocked away? All right, I mean, both of you get that. knocked away. That's fine. <laughs> I don't. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care um, either. It's like an OP spell in this case, like to let, it breaks a grapple for free. But yeah. right. I mean, it costs a really hard slot to break a grapple. Five feet. Five feet. Okay. Five feet. That's like Rook. saying magic missiles OP because um, it does damage for free. You what, are, you what are, can I do? You are getting pushed to the edge of this bush and you find that there is a pitfall underneath. Make me a dexterity check to not I'm wind so, up like, thrown into the what pit. What the hell, party? I'm getting, I'm getting tackled, I'm getting spelled at. These creatures are clearly evil cultists. There's like a snake skeleton right over there. I All right, you, you manage to wind up on the edge of the pit, not falling in. What do you do with your turn? Um, can I attack the snake thing? I mean, I yes. rolled, okay, I'll del- I would delay, but I think that would still make me before Nomon. I rolled with a three to like unarmed combat my way away from Hugo, um, mm-hmm. but I will just roll out with swords. I think if I stay prone, I take a penalty to hit. If you stay prone, uh, I think you just get a penalty to your AC. I don't think it's a penalty to hit. Okay. So I can just attack it with no penalties yeah. and it yeah. will get a bonus because I'm yep. cause it, I'd have to take an action to stand up. Is that how this all works? Uh, I believe. I don't believe you take an action to stand up. Is that true in AD&D? I, think it I don't is believe so. True in, really? Oh. Okay, then I'll stand up and. Okay. Just, a half move to stand? I think it's a half move. Yeah, I think it's a half move. Okay. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and roll dogs as well. All right. Uh, both of your sword attacks miss. Uh, uh, 15, I think, versus the... Uh, yeah, 15 will hit. Uh, four damage to the one on the... All right. Uh, excellent. Oh, I'm mistaken. Dogs... Oh, no. Dogs are only plus one to hit, but we're... it's fine. It's... Uh, the 14 will still hit uh, this creature. Uh, so it dies. You rip that one to shreds. Uh, excellent. Uh, that was Dogs and Rook and Nomon. What do you right. do as you face down this thing with a bow? I want to use my ring that I pulled from the Halfling to mm-hmm. ensnare this to ensnare this uh, snake lady. What I would say, though, is, I mean, I'm wearing the ring. I'm holding the incense with my right hand. My ring's on my left hand. I'm doing the part with my right hand. I would say I can activate the ring by rubbing it and saying the command word while still maintaining the hypnotic pattern. If not, I'm still doing it anyway. But that's what I'm attempting think, to do. I think you can. I think you can do that, 
right? You're waving incense around in one hand. You have just like a ring that you have to focus on continuing yeah. to make happen. I think I think your intelligence is probably split a little bit, but I feel like that's what wizards do, right? Cool shit that's like it. that. Go ahead and you speak the command word into your ring. Uh, golden strands come rushing out to try to grab this lady. Uh, she does not get a magic resistance and uh, she fails her saving throw. She is bound by golden strands from the ring. And then I would like to walk up to these four over here if I can. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Next time I'm gonna start killing them. Okay. Cool. Uh, Ren. Yes. Would it be po- so? The lady is currently not focused. Like, who's she looking? Which direction is she facing? Is she facing exactly how she's looking right now? Rook, I think, because she attacked Rook. Yeah. Is Hugo nine? Why is this out of order again? <laughs> uh, I went on. Yeah, I rolled a nine. I don't understand what's going on with the tracker. Can you shuffle it again? You can, just, like, re- can you just hit Hugo, it Hugo, okay. yeah. it's sure. your turn, not Ren's. What's okay. okay. Sorry, fine. Ren. I'm just uh, I'm exasperated dude. with this tracker. <laughs> All right. I... It's okay. Back, Hugo. I don't want to have to hurt you. At this point, I, you in we're, we're back in the combat, attention. so I think I just have to kill this snake lady. Okay. Uh, with a 12, I don't think it's The 12 hit. will not hit, no. All right, uh, the Huntresses go. These two are dead. These two are having problems. Uh, they will, this one will attempt to, cu- they're cudgeling dogs. The dogs are really much more threatening than everyone else, clearly. Um, first one cudgels a dog with a two on the die. <laughs> the next one cudgels a dog uh, with a 19 minus four is 15. Will we finally cudgel the dog? We hit the dog. We have hit the dog. Doing, is this a sap? Is this is a sap, do? yes. So you roll damage and then like 5% per damage or something like that? Yes. Uh, so uh, it will take <laughs> it will take one point of damage. Okay. Uh, so, so roll, roll a 5%. One to five space. is always a success. I think that's still one point of temporary HP or something, right? It's or still one point of, yeah, it's still one point of temporary HP damage, uh, but the 5% to get knocked out is going to be bad. Uh, or not not ideal. Uh, let's see. D one hundred. They do not. They do not knock you out. Okay. Uh, and then a big snack lady is going to move up here in between you and turn to Rook and will make two claw attacks at you. Uh, the first with a. 14? Hit. Oh, that hits. All right. Um, please take from me six points of damage as it slashes you with its claws. Uh, and will a 15 hit? Hit. All right. Please take an additional four points of slashing damage. Uh, this one is held by the ring. These four are hypnotically patterned. Uh, these ones here seem like they should maybe start fighting. They are going to make their way to where the weapons are held and begin grabbing some weapons this turn. All right. Uh, that is Huntress's. Ren, it is finally your turn. If I turn around to face into the direction of the big snake lady, can I see her eyes from here? Uh, I don't think so. I think she's looking towards uh, Rook. I don't think she's looking. Sure, her eyes don't do anything. Her eyes do not do anything. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't matter though. I mean, that's not even. Who gives a fuck what her eyes do or not? If she's blind, she's blind. You know, if she goes to punch (laughs) someone, right? Like, doesn't matter what her (laughs) eyes do. It matters what her fists do. That's what I'm interested in. But I can't use it, so I'm gonna. Do you have to see the eyes to cast somebody's eyes? Uh, you can cast light that's how it usually back, is. It says you cast it on her eyes, right? Sure, but yeah. I think you could cast light. Yeah, I on... think because it, it casts it like inside of their skull, right? Or something oh, like that. I, I thought you were talking about meeting her gaze. If no, you, no. If, yeah. if you want to, like, she's in the middle of combat. She's looking around. I'm sure you can, like, 
catch her eyes. Right? I wasn't going to make okay. you meet her gaze, but yeah, you can right. cast light on her eyes. I, did, I didn't understand I, what yeah, you were trying to do. I just, yeah, I just wanted to know if I can see her eyes so I can cast. Sure, you want to you wanna cast a light on her eyes? Absolutely. Yes. Uh, magic that. resistance fails uh, and spell save. Spell save fails. Uh, you've nice. successfully cast light upon her eyes. All right. Nice. So how, yes. I, how I do it is I have my little walnut around my neck. I crack it open, right? Mm -hmm. I open up my hand and there's a tiny firefly in it and I just blow it into the direction of the of the mighty snake. So it doesn't look particularly impressive, but I guess, you know, it flies right on top of her face and just blinds her. Or... All right. Excellent. A long ass time, actually. Yeah. One yeah, hour I, plus one turn per level. <laughs> it's it's a long, long time. Very long. I get an attack at the end of the round. You do get an attack at the end of the round. Uh, 21 will hit. Uh, he's blinded, so there's a plus four on top of that. Actually, there is a seed. That is a crit. Uh, for 11 points of damage, you bloody the snake for sure. Oops. Uh, roll 20. Can you please help me out here? I'm literally dying. Thank you. Okay. Uh, excellent. We'll just roll initiative. into some initiative. Yes, please. Oh. Um, I will oh, sorry, also have... The creature's clearly blind, right? It is clearly blind, yes. Yeah. There's like I light pouring like, out of its eye holes. Yeah, I just like walk over here at the end of the round out of okay. its reach. One, two, three, four, five. That is everyone. Please work. <laughs> is it in order right now? It is. Three, four, seven, eight, eight, eleven. Uh, Please don't go yeah. out of order. It should be a fourteen, but How yeah, did... that's right. How is it not a fourteen? It's a fourteen. My, okay. my initiative isn't right either. Was I not holding my token or something? Uh, I don't know. I don't maybe know. Maybe when you reshuffle, you we should have re clicked our token. Yeah, maybe we needed to reclick our tokens. But somehow. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Three. Seven, that looks eight, good. eight, yeah. 12, yep. 14. All right. Yeah. Boy, oh boy, that is. <sighs> I need like ice stat. Nomon, what do you do? <laughs> I cast a worried glance over my right shoulder at even mm -hmm. more snake people coming, and my magics are running out. But uh, uh -huh. I drop my incense to the ground, draw my traitor's dagger, and then leap on this one's back and backstab it. All right, nice. absolutely. Um, please roll to hit with a plus five as the plus four for the stab and the plus one for the magic damage. Um, actually, it it's, held, right? it's held, right? Yeah. It's held. It's held. It's an auto hit. My brain. I'll just... roll. I'll roll for the. Crit. I'm so hot. Nice. Please roll. Please roll sneak <laughs> attack damage as if you were a thief one one tier higher than you would for back attack normally. Nice. So like, you I'll, you do I'll double roll. damage at three. At, so you're gonna roll three times damage dice. Is it three times or just one extra? It's just one extra d6, isn't it? It's three um, times. I'm going to roll the attack roll anyway, just in case I got crits. Cool. So, okay, yeah. <laughs> roll a one. I need to go get water or something. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> roll, some, roll some damage. I'm dying. <laughs> okay, it's not crits. Okay. And it should we be three times the... damage dice. Let's just look it up. Yeah, I think quick. it's oh. three times because you're, you're a level three thief, right? Yeah, I was and hoping this was going to kill them, but it's not. And it's subject to interpretation, but I think it's like three at, not just three times dice. It's like you roll damage and including modifiers and then you multiply it. I guess. We... Oh, is it? Okay. Right. Yeah, it's listed it's in the, yeah. the table. It's like X2. It's not like it would two be time. Yeah, dice, you would be time but... three damage multiplier okay. then, right? If it's one zero. Sure. How much damage did you roll? Nine. Nine points of damage. All oh right. Oh god, and they wake up. Uh, <laughs> they do wake up. This one here. Whoosh. Uh, you see as you take an action uh, with the, your ring, the webs go away on this creature here. And it is now on Wait, the when I when I take a, an action with my what? With the... Yeah, you didn't spend your time concentrating on keeping them bound, and so they are unbound. Okay. Wait, is that like you've got to concentrate for a round to like make it set, or is it just the whole time. It runs, you it runs every on? when you use the ring and speak the command word, it is bound for that round, and then you may uh, use your action to continue binding it every round. 
Oh, uh, okay. All right. Excellent. Uh, you did nine damage to this creature. Mm-hmm. Uh, I believe that that is enough to bloody this one. Excellent. Well done. Koibu, it is your turn. What do you do? Well, I'm going to go deal with the snakes. There's not that many remain. You know what? I take it back. The dogs have got these. The dogs are heroes of the battle. Uh-huh. Um, I'm going to do a charge at the biggin. All right, excellent. You race around the tree and begin charging the big snake lady who is blind. Uh, please yes. roll the hit. You get plus four for the blind and plus two for the charge. Uh, I'm not going okay, so that's going to be another six. So all modifiers included, natural 20. Oh, oh, oh my goodness gracious. Finally don't Minus need four AC. Is, oh, did you just add it for the blind? Yeah, I added plus four okay. to hit instead of minus four. Uh, it's going to be 2d8. Oh, Jeebus. Jeebus. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> I chop off the last six inches of her tail. Ah! <laughs> Very nice. Uh, Hugo, it is your turn. What do you do? Uh, I attack with a 24. I don't think that clears by 10. Uh, it does okay. not. I don't think we're using those rules, are we? Uh, well, we don't have double crits, but I assume we were doing clear by 10 under 18. That's yeah. it. I mean, it's, oh. that's the same. I mean, that's also... Yeah, that's anyway, seven point points of damage. Staff. Uh, seven more <laughs> points of damage on her. Excellent. Uh, well done. Yep. Uh, huntresses go. These ones here are only, they only got sappers left. They're going to sap some doggos. Uh, that is definitely a miss on the first doggo. Second doggo, that is definitely a miss as well. They did not get it done. Huntress here uh, is blind, has been struck from both sides of it. Uh, it, it is going to whirl around and attempt to hit somebody in the square to its left. You made a lot of noise charging up and you hit it, it kind of vaguely knows there's something there. I can't turn the token because roll 20 is killing me. <laughs> there was a very faint critical in there as well. Just there's a very, very faint critical in there. Yeah, it, it's going to attack with a minus four uh, to swing in vaguely your direction. It could also miss you entirely. It's gonna have a one in three to hit the right square. Uh, it rolls a three, it misses. It swings out with its claws, dancing into the wrong square, just missing you entirely. Uh, this one here is no longer held, uh, and it is going to coil its way up to one of these gnomons in these squares and attempt to bite it. Hey, uh, hey, hang on, hang on. This one, he only woke up at the start of this turn. Do you really get an action? This yep. is the one who was held, right? Uh, no, fine. this is okay. the one that it I It can stopped. sit there. I don't care. It, this one turns around and shoots you. This one cannot. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, 18 plus 3, 21. I'm assuming that's going to hit you. It's a mirror image. Uh, yes, it does. It hits a mirror image, and the mirror image pops. Uh, these huntresses have taken out their bows last round. Uh, they will move. They will move to just like get some nice clean line of sight on you. We'll take two more shots at gnomes. Which one are they aiming at here? Uh, two shots, yeah? Two shots. First one doesn't hit me. Roll to hit, see if you hit. Okay. Uh, 16 total? Yeah, I thought it hits. And then okay. one more, and then that misses as well. Right? Okay. Oh, uh, well. The, ooh, the, that one is a 12 modified. Okay. Does that right, hit you? So. No, I've got one image left. All right, you have one image left. Uh, this one here will begin making its way up the cliff side along with this one to help out over here. Excellent. Rook. Uh, let's I guess, start and see if we can finish off this lady. 16 and 19. She should have a minus four. Uh, those those definitely well. hit, yep. Uh, for three more damage, you're just chipping away ever so slowly at this woman here. She's still up. Uh, uh, she is. Uh, yeah, yeah, Doggo she's still up. Crit and a miss. So the wound. Uh, the crit, very good. Uh, takes eleven. Doggo rips apart this this woman. 
and don't that, you have one more dog to roll attacks uh, for? They're eating. They're eating. Okay, fair enough. Um, what is this cliff face next to me? Uh, this is like down? a ten foot drop. Yeah, you is could it just, just a drop, or is it like difficult? It's terrain? it's kind of it's kind down. of gradual. You could slide down it. That's fine. I think I'll wait till this thing is dead. Okay, I'll like, but I'll circle behind her or something. Okay, absolutely. Sounds yeah, good. I, you know, you guys like four of you want to get over here. Well, I'm like nine. <laughs> <laughs> that's just the wizard's responsibility. Yeah. Okay. Uh, excellent. Great turn, Ren. Yo, what do you I'm do? I'm still here. God yeah. Damn. <laughs> okay, let's go. You're you're uh, you're untouched so far. <laughs> I would like to attack the snake lady. I guess. Please, okay. with my mighty. I'm just really sad because I was about to cast a flame blade and then Sean was like, nah, uh, uh. And I was like, okay, guess this is not happening. So my whole epic part just fell off the, you know, cliffside as we did and not surrender. So now I'm stuck with the shitty sword. Oh man, Mila life is hard. And I don't hit her. Uh, <laughs> no, the three misses, even while she's right. blinded. I get an end of the round attack. So. Uh, I believe you and Rook both do, yeah? I got my last one. I think you got yours last round here. Oh, uh, you crit her. That is a crit, no matter which oh, one. Nice. All right, you do enough to finish her off. Who's the uh, shitty hunter now? <laughs> <laughs> she dives. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, perfect. That's the end of the round. Uh, let's roll some initiative. Yeah. Uh, so there's four rounds after the right D four rounds, or is it four total rounds? I think it's just two rounds. rounds. It's two. two. It's oh, two. It's two. two. Okay. So are they perfect. free to move this round, or they are not the free to round? move this round? But uh, next round they will be. Yeah. Uh, all right. We'll roll into initiative with the rest of them. Oh God. Shit. What did they roll? Badly. Oh, good. Nice. <laughs> All right. 8, 11, 10, 10, 10. 8, 11, 10, 10. Koibu did not do his correctly, so we'll change that. There we go. And and what's the story with the trees? Are those difficult terrain? Are they impassable? They're, they're trees. They, like, you can walk around the stump of them, right? Um, they're, they're I'm trying like, to figure out how to navigate traps. Like... <clears throat> um, yeah, we'll call it. We'll call it. If you're gonna like, if you're gonna walk here, right, to avoid the traps, mm -hmm. then we'll call that like difficult terrain. I think that makes the easiest amount of sense. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, I think that's good. Uh, Rook, uh, it is your turn. Let's resolve doggos first. The, the dogs will doggos stop first. eating, and they will leap upon this remaining snake. All right. These are all at plus one to hit. Uh, I think the 19 oh. is the only one that hits. The 19 is the only one that hits, yeah. Uh, the 19 crit. crits, yeah. 11 points of damage. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Very nice, bloodying this creature for sure. And then Rook will like, probably spends his whole turn moving actually. Uh-huh. To like here, why is it not? Okay, whatever. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. If that was, yeah. I don't know why the right clicking wasn't working. So I think I, <laughs> I don't need to use my whole movement to like get down to Nomon. Okay. Perfect. So you do. Um, Ren, Koibo, and Hugo, you all go together. There's a dead snake lady in front of you. What do you do? Uh, I'm also gonna move to try and help. Oh, there we go. Uh, I'm also going to move to try and help out Numan, and I think I'm also going to be using yeah, basically my whole move. I hear us. Right. Excellent. I will come to the top of the cliff, um, uh -huh. defend myself, but also say, stand down, snake women, else I shall rain down the fires of heaven upon you. <sighs> and get ready to cast a spell next round. Okay. Excellent. So you do... Uh, do, 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 no mine. What do you do? I, uh, no, Fred? So, I don't think so. Didn't you, weren't you in the group of 10? Did you not go? Ren, go. I did not go. Thank you very All much. All right, I'm sorry. I'm going to <laughs> extend the finger, point towards that tree down here, this one. And, um, a bunch of the roots of the tree are going to lash out towards the snake people. 
I'm gonna cast Entangle. Let's have a look. Like... I think I'm just gonna take these three. We're gonna do it like this. All right. Uh, you cast Entangle upon no, them. Not up and right and left. Sure, you're in charge here. I mean, they use bows. Anyway, <laughs> I actually so didn't even see yet. those. No, 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 Ryan is, is correct. I didn't even see those, so I'm going to do that. Oh, yeah. oh. I only saw those, like... but yes, my bad. Okay, we've all been excellent. zoomed in on the bottom right here, while Nomon's been fucking tanking the whole camp. Because Koibu said, you know, you deal with the ones in the camp, so that's what I've been doing. I did? I don't yeah, recall them, saying yeah. that. All right, your entanglement goes off, and all of them are entangled by your spell. None of them manage to succeed on either their limited magic resistance or their spell saves. Nice. The tree roots grab and hold them fast, ripping up out of the soil around them, uh, wrapping around their snake-like bodies, and uh, yeah, it's a... It's a complete and total success. Excellent. Uh, Noman, it is your turn. Um, seeing them, like, I take a quick look at the entangled snake people. Do I feel like they're entangled so they just can't move, but they could still fire their bows? Uh, they are restrained via the entangle. I believe they cannot act. Okay. If that's the case, then I'm going to abandon Let me the... Look up. Let me not lie to you. My brain isn't at a hundred percent right now. I'm just going to, I'm just going to look up the entangle spell. Yeah. There you go. I put it in chat. Well, uh, thank you. That saves me some time. Uh, holding them fast. Any creature. It doesn't specify. It doesn't specify. I think in any fashion, super. I think it. I think it holds them. I think it. It like is in magic roots that just completely restrain. Okay. Okay. So I was gonna cast sleep on the two down there, but I think I'm gonna abandon my spell and instead try and backstab one of the snake people. That might okay. mean going at the end. That mean, might mean going at the end of the round, though. Um, that sounds fine. Uh, we'll have one huntress take their turn. Oh, two yeah. huntresses take their turn in the meantime. Um, they're gonna attempt to sap a dog. Um, oh, they hit the dog. That's a 22 Ooh. minus 4, 18. Uh, Let's say the dog um, takes. It's not actually, it clears by four. It's not actually okay. critical, is it? Not actually critical. Okay. Uh, so it takes uh, four points of temporary HP damage. Uh, so it has a 20% chance to be knocked unconscious, uh, which it does not. It is not knocked unconscious by the sap. Um, and then this creature here turns around uh, and it is going to, it has all kinds of people around it. It chooses, it chooses the gnomes. It wants to bite a gnome. Which gnome right. is it biting? The wrong gnome. Biting one of your <laughs> illusions. Um, it bites it with a natural two. Uh, it does nope. not, it does not oh, manage God to damn. bite your illusion. All right, uh, and then it's my turn then, so yes. I will dart past it and then backstab its friend sitting next to it here. Um, All right. I will roll the same to hit. Oh, that's a crit. That's definitely a crit, yeah. Nice. So six times damage dice, please. What, 18 damage. Ooh, Ooh that is exact ease. Oh. Got him. Very nice. You murder this creature with your dagger. Uh, but I was wrong about the multiplier on the magic and the strength damage, actually. Oh, so it's oh, it's only 16 it's damage, then. It is not exact ease. No. <laughs> <laughs> it is instead bloodied. Thanks. All right. Uh, excellent. Why is that not 18? Hold on, my brain's... The pl I thought the backstab multiply the damage by three, including modifiers in rules. So you yeah. have you have one D4 on the dagger. Plus one for magic. I was tripling the plus one. Plus one for it's magic. Out. Okay, perfect. I see. Yeah. I see where you're, where the minus two is. Great. Excellent. Uh, any other end of round actions? I don't think so. No yeah, other end of round actions. Uh, Excellent. Yeah. We'll just roll into hopefully one of the final rounds of initiative here. Uh, the hypnotic pattern is now. Done. The hypnotic pattern now goes. Thank you very much. Uh, huntresses go at nine. Hmm. 
Eleven, nine, eight, eight. Yeah. Eight for nine. Eight for Noma. Nine for Hugo. It's working. It looks like the turn order is actually working. That's good. I see it out of order still. Oh, well, right now because he hasn't organized. I haven't it assembled it, but oh, okay. the right people have the right initiatives, which you know <laughs> has not always been the case. <laughs> the, the simple answer is that people. Are in their tokens, you know. It's a combination of people not clicking their tokens and not always clearing the initiative. Well, I can't roll initiative time. if I don't click my token is the thing. Hey, you come. Rolling my button is only there when I select my token. All right, Koibu. No, you can click roll initiative the character sheets. So, Ren, Koibu, Nomon, you all I act together. I go first. Let's go. So I'm going to go down the hill. <laughs> <laughs> all right. See you next round. Fuck this. Yes, I'm going down here. I mean, I don't know. Do you need do I need an athletics check to not tumble? No, and no, no, no. You're good, but it slows you okay. down. It just slows you down. Yeah. Uh, actually, I don't. Yeah. Okay. Good. But can I still? I can still reach though, right? Or is it? I only have. I think you would have to jump if you wanted to be able to make an attack, because it's exactly half your move. But if you slow down climbing Excellent. down the hill, I'm jumping. The, what do the I roll? trees. The trees here are gonna act as like difficult terrain. So you're gonna use your movement just to get up to them. Oh, okay. If you're clear. avoiding if you're avoiding the traps by going through the trees, then you're gonna just take a little bit of extra movement to get there. So uh, you you can't move and attack, uh, but you can move right. up to them this round. Mm -hmm. Good round to go first, Faye. Isn't there a thing? No, I don't think there's a thing. There's no thing. Well, anyways, I mean, I'm. You could take massive am, penalties and technically, like go I think you in or something. But, yeah, I, well, I was gonna uh, say you could charge pre-tree, right? Or like you can run and take like a penalty to your AC. Mm. But Could I do that? Is that a thing? Why not? Yeah, let's, you can let's get this. I mean, you can always jog for double cooking. movement. Okay, lovely. Well, okay, me. I do that. All right. You Ooh. essentially charge through the trees, scrambling your way through, branches smacking you, blacking <laughs> you, uh, but you make it there in time. For a glorious natural one. <laughs> yes! Man, that well it? done, Ren. <laughs> All right, Koibu and Nomon, you guys are acting at the same time. So. I make it all the way there, and last second I run straight into one of the branches and just almost <laughs> knock myself out. Very, Very nice. nice. Well done, man. Well done. Uh, I'm going to try and finish off the one that I just backstabbed. All right. Uh, come, um, on, come on, 15. Uh, that'll hit. Nice. Two damage. Should be enough. That is enough. Exactly enough. It dies. I okay. return to the snake lady that the dogs are fighting. I think the dogs are better spent fighting the ones down there, so I'm gonna try and finish off the bloodied one up here. No, the dogs. Are okay. Gonna, how are the dogs gonna climb? They'll run through the traps, yeah. No, that's not my problem. I'll, they'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> they'll jump. Huzzah! 18, uh, 18 hits. And two points of damage. Uh, Let's go. That is, en that is enough. This one has been beaten up a lot by dogs, and it dies. Dogs growl at you for stealing their kill. <laughs> they wanted to last hit for that XP. Uh, uh, and I will try. I don't have any animal handling skills whatsoever. Uh -huh. um, and I don't know if these dogs particularly like me or not, but I will try to, like, go get them, boys. Go get them! They're over there! Go get them! <laughs> they like give you. They tilt their head and flop in here down. Come on! And stare come at get you. me! Come get me! And then I'll run that direction. I'll, like, you know, I'll do the come with me sort of motioning. Quickly makes dogs. it halfway to the cliff. The dogs run him down. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. All right. Uh, that is the three eights. Huntresses and Hugo, you act at the same time. All Hugo, right. what do you do? I'm going to try and slay this one right here. All right. Uh, who has just woken up from their hypnosis. I think that's you a hit nice him. roll. Is uh, that a crit? 21 is clears by six or seven. Yeah, that crits. For eight points of damage. Eight points of damage. All right. Uh, not blooding it, actually. What, what strength have you got, Sean? Uh, 16. Yes. I have plus one of damage from strength and plus two from specialization. Specialization. All righty. Uh, this one's dead, so there's just three left that can take their move. Uh, this one here could either go after Rook or Nomon. It chooses Rook. It turns around. It can't bow shot you, but it can try to bite you. 
Uh, it pulls itself up to its full height and then lunges forward with its fangs. Would uh, Root with... get an attack of opportunity? Sorry to interrupt. No, uh, because uh, this is a natural weapon. Gotcha. Uh, Bring on the poison. And this is a 12 to hit Rook. I don't Hits. know if that'll do it. It does hit, okay. Yep. Uh, so, Leather armor. Uh, please take from me four points of piercing damage and make me a poison saving throw. Yeah. All right. Uh, you feel a poison setting into your system. The the, the burn goes through your body. Uh, you will uh, become incapacitated in... Uh, Here we are again. Four <laughs> rounds. Uh, that's long enough to win, I think. Got to have yeah. it at least and one more time. We're going to be waiting for another 11 hours. All right. Uh, the next one, they're just going to attack one at Hugo, one at Ren. Uh, Hugo, you get a bit for a nine. I don't think that's going to no. get you. Uh, and Ren, a 18. Will that hit you? No. No? Okay. Uh, the Huntresses bite at you, but are unable to successfully penetrate your armor. Rook, uh, you feel poison coursing through your veins, but you're still up and able to act this round. A 14. Uh, 14 hits, exactly. Six points uh, of damage. Six points of damage. Uh, and she was backstabbed previously and dies. Yeah. Nice. Excellent. Well done. Um, end of round, I think you get an attack. No, I had to... Uh, no, I, this is my I first to, round, so... I had to lose attacks to move. Did you not attack last time, Rook? No, last round was the round we moved down here. The last round was the round you moved down. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, uh, then initiative order it is indeed. This time... That's like, that's a much more Ren-like initiative right there. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Fuck off, Sean. <laughs> right, 9, 6, 8, 7, 14. 9, 6, 8, 7, 14. Excellent. Uh, so, uh, Rook and the Huntresses act at the same time. Uh... Sure. I'll back attack this one. Oh my goodness. Uh, that is not going to get it done. No. Your swords are unable to penetrate the snake lady. They're going to keep biting at uh, Hugo and Ren. Uh, Hugo with a 13 and Ren with a 5. No. All right. And that is the only two that can go. Uh, Koibu, you're up here trying to get the dogs to follow you. Uh, they don't seem very responsive at all, though. Come what do you on. do? I lead by example with a few more words of encouragement, and <laughs> I will uh, power slide down the cliff using my uh, the skill that I have called Precise uh. Memory, which um, allows me to remember how I've seen someone <laughs> slide down the hill in the past without taking damage and then just recreate it on the fly. I don't think that's how that is. That yeah, I don't think that's how it works. But fortunately for you, you strike the same pose that Rook made, and you feel really good about yourself as you slide down this hill. Excellent. Not taking any damage. Awesome. Uh, and then I am going to try and do one of these things. You're going to try to do one of these snakes? Like move okay. to this position. No, no, do these okay. things. These things oh, move okay. into this position. <laughs> Be very careful. I I'm I mean, sorry. I know this we, snake... almost, we almost got all anime for a second there. <laughs> I know the snake over here has big old titties with nipples on him, but like, we're not going there. Does it? If you zoom in, yeah. If, Nobody if Neil... cares! If Neil... Move on with your lives! Jesus Christ! And then I will oh my god. I'm which, sorry, which, Shane. Which one, Neil? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I attacked the snake. You can admire the corpse with the big tits later. Can we finish with this? <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm sorry, Jesus I didn't Christ. realize I chose a token with nipples. Uh, it's, it's fine. You, you attack with an 11. Offended. It's held, which gives you uh, like plus two, I think. Uh, so a 13 does not hit. Flank? 14? Uh, sure, fine, yeah. Flank it, you hit it. Yeah, one damage. One point of damage, very nicely done. Um, no man. All right, um, they're both, the, these two over here, sorry, I assume they're on the one with the, the bare chest, obviously. Um, 
these two are facing away from me, right? So I will climb over the corpse of the one I've just slain and uh, try and attack this one in the back. All right, yes, you can definitely get back attack. Uh, you will not get sneak attack. Yeah, yeah, I'm aware of this. 17. Uh, 17 will hit. Uh, oh, I just press damage. For five uh, damage. For five points of damage. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, Hugo, it is your turn. All right, I'm going to try and finish this one off with a 20 to hit. That's that does a hit. to hit. Solid. Nice fucking rolls, dude. Six Eight and six is 14. It does not die, but it is very bloodied. Uh, Ren, you see yeah. one of these creatures bloodied in front of you. What will you do? Oh, yeah. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. I attack the bloody one with a mighty 12. Uh, 12 will not hit. No. Lovely. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. End of round, second attacks, yes. I do not hit. You do not hit, Hugo. Uh, back attack. That crit. does, that crits. Four points of damage. How does right. this feel? Don't you Four crit? points of damage is one, enough, though, to slay this creature. It dies. Yes. All right, one more initiative. One more initiative, yeah. yes. Let's go. Ooh. Seven. Fuck you, Sean. <laughs> I don't know why you're so so hostile toward me here. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know what I could have done to deserve this. Maybe you hey, there we go. some red initiative. God damn, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next time. I'll get you next time. Uh, the Huntresses go first. Uh, this creature here oh, is definitely feeling like... They are screwed. They've watched all of their companions die. Uh, and the other ones are held. We wouldn't waste our time hunting such a pathetic creature. Mm, you it say that? Yeah, feel free to flee. Uh, it, it does. Nice. It's, it begins moving away. I do. Like I, I, I do. I do. I do. I do. What? I do. 24. Oh, you could. Uh, oh, never yeah. mind. I don't even have to. Come on. Come on. Come on. No, you probably don't. <laughs> I think I want fresh. Uh, it takes four points of damage. It got stabbed for five previously. Five. That is just enough to bloody it. Oof. Ren. You take your opportunity. Nah, attack. you know what? Mm -mm. I'm not going to hit that one. Anyways, I'm not going to embarrass myself. That one can go if she wants to. She's fine by me. <laughs> All right. You know she slithers nah. off into the grasses. Um, as you see her slithering off, he, a big hairy beast comes flying out of the trees where it was <laughs> hiding, and yeah. Gurgi comes screaming at it, hands outstretched, <laughs> when he criticals her with his hands. Nice. You see Gurgi choking out the snake lady as it runs away. Uh, she takes uh, five points of bludgeoning damage uh, as Gurgi's like... <coughs> Crunchies oh, yeah. and crunchings! The second uh, you admit weak, weakness, you're a target. That's how it works here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, the rest of you, what do you do with your turns? Uh, I think we just I, systematically kill yeah, off Yeah, just going to go finish off the rest of the snakes. Yeah. Okay. Um, They're all I on the edge of the entangle, so I imagine we can just kind of like trace around the edge of it and stab in there. Yeah. I can feel the poison setting in, uh, so I'm just going to find a nice spot to curl up and die. All this right. is also like perfect entanglement positioning. I just want to yeah. say that. When do you ever get the chance to stab a ball <laughs> from the and, side? And like, when are you ever going to get like five failed saves in a row again? All yeah. right. Uh, you this. you all spend your time systematically murdering the snake ladies. Uh, it is it is out of combat. They're all restrained and held. You, you shouts, can stand up, up against and... the tree, slipping into unconsciousness, and he shouts, mm -hmm. "Wait!" Parlay! <laughs> <laughs> As he proceeds to pass out for like 12 hours. All right. Yeah. You slay the creatures. Uh, Gurgi eventually chokes out this snake lady and begins breaking it apart, sucking on its oh, bones God. and oh, having goodness. a grand old time. At some point while Rook's paralyzed, I'd like to have a chance to talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, why don't we? I'm I'm literally dying. I'm literally yeah. Dying. I was gonna. Can say, we you take a break here, here yeah. and yeah. give do, me a do you chance to wrap recover up here? I know it's an hour early, but if you're like dying, I'm, in your I'm good to continue going. I just I need to like get some cold water. Let this man go on drain. Yeah, water cool your yeah. DMs, everyone. All right, All right. Get, get, get on the set of a break. <laughs> <laughs>